Hey guys, it's Monty. I'm back with another project share for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, all these dies I'm going to share with you are available on her website at scrapdivadesigns.com. Here is all of her social media information. So let's jump right in and I'll share with you what, um, which ones I am featuring in this video. So first up, I'm featuring the, um, this is the handbag bag topper. This, it comes in a large and it comes in a small. So let me show you what I made. And, and these are just, these ones are just really basic. I just wanted to put them together to show you what they look like. So here's the small, obviously, and then the large. So I just, you know, decorated them pretty minimally, but this is the cutest thing. So these not only make cute bag toppers, but also um, cute embellishments as well can really decorate these up so anyway it they turned out really cute I put that flap right there to overhang the bag <clears throat> so um, just put some pattern paper layered up with pattern paper and some bows and flowers and <laughs> cabochons and put some little flower trim up here so I think they turned out really cute I've been seeing some really cute designs and um, you know, you can make it into a purse or a bag. You know, I've seen people doing that also. So very, very cute. So I love that. So the small and the large. So let me give you a measurements real quick. <clears throat> so the small is approximately three inches high, you know, to the top of the handle. And then it is about three and a half inches wide. Okay, and then the large is about four, a little over four and a quarter tall, and it is about uh, just about five inches wide. So, really nice. Nice sizes for small bags and for larger bags. So, very cute. Love those. So, that's that. Okay, and then next I wanted to share with you this set. It's Darling. It is called Cute Bear. It's got these cute little bears, and it comes with a small one and a large one. Okay, same pieces <clears throat> um, for both of them. So here are the ones I made. So again, minimally decorated. So here's, I did this one in white glitter paper. And then I inked um, my edges because it was white. I went ahead and inked my edges with some um, rose, rose pink delicata ink. So I did that on the on the um, edges of the white. Um, I put the eyes and the you know the muzzle and the mouth, and then I layered up the ears. Tiny bow right there from Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. And then I have the whole head. You know, whole face area and my ears up on foam also so I think it turned out super cute now the eyelashes it it um, embosses that into the thing but since it was glitter paper you couldn't see it as well as it, if it would have been just a plain um, cardstock so I took my tiny little fine tip um, black um, liner and just lined it so you could see his eyes and the, and the you know in the eyelashes and stuff so turned out very cute and then this is the small one now the small one I love how these um, paws are looks like they're up on something and I love that look so I decided to put it up on this little banner piece this banner piece is part of one of the other sets from this release and I think it's the uh, da, da, da. it is from the swap bag envelope that's where this banner piece comes from and I when I opened this up and saw the thing, I, I told you guys I would be using this all the time. I love this. This one's just flat. The ones I've, other ones I've made, I popped up the layering piece of the banner. But this one's just flat. Just some little enamel dots there. Um, again, since this was a pattern paper I wanted in the back, I kind of just traced the um, eyes with a white, um, you know, jelly roll pin. This. So that they would stand out, wouldn't disappear. This one, I have the paws and the ears and then the muzzle up on on um, foam. I used a cute little Maggie Holmes bowl from one of the collections up there. 
So I think they're super cute. So the big one is, see about two and a quarter inches tall. And then it is about two and three quarter, a little over two and three quarters inches wide. Okay, the small one, I'll try and get this lined up here on the edge. <laughs> It is about one and a half inches tall and about um, one and three quarters wide. Okay, so these are super cute. Just to put on your projects or make an embellishment out of. Super cute, like on a layout for a, you know, a, a kid's layout or anything. You know, camping, you can make it more, you know, brown and stuff, camping colors, stuff like that. Um, lots of uses for this. It's super cute. I love it. And again, it's called Cute Bear. Okay, next up, the next die that I used is the 3D Mini Files gift box. This is the set. It's kind of hard to tell what all's in there, but um, it's everything you need to make this set I'm gonna show you. So here is the one I created. Keep it back here. So it holds these middle mini vials from um, the Dollar Tree. And these are actually minor We Are Memory Keepers, so it's, uh, those fit also. And there's like a little hole piece that holds the bottles in place. And then the box, depending on how you make it, can open up on the top or the sides, whichever you want to do. I made mine to open up on the top. Um, <clears throat> so you got your layering pieces on the front. I put some acetate in there. Um, I just decorated the back um, with a rosette and this. I've had these little butterflies forever. I just thought would be cute on there. Um, a bow, a little um, uh, phrase from the collection. Um, the collection I'm using for all these projects is um, Chasing Dreams. Um, and then I had these cute little um, little mini um, scoops that I got at Hobby Lobby in the uh, you know like in the baking section. So I decided since I had I have this filled with like little beads, I decided to put some more of the beads on top. And so they're all kind of like just hot glue just a tiny little bit of hot glue so they stay in place and so then the person can take those out and you know just pop the glue off and use them or and then use the scooper I just put some um, a little this, this is like a wood flower I put there and then I put one of these flowers from Lori creating for fun I put one of those tiny ones I got from her on top of it and then the scoop comes with a little hole so I just put a couple little tiny beads that I got from um, Rhoda on here. So cute. And so then, like I said, mine open, I made mine to open up in the back. So this top part, so I've seen people like open, making it open so you can open up on the ends, but I went ahead and glued my ends down. So you can do it however you want. And I just made mine. So my whole top opens up and then you can go like that and get your bottles out and just close it back up. Now, I've also seen people make, you can, and I'm working on one right now too, to make it um, so this top piece cut the holes out of so that you can make taller ones and have them just stick out the top without a, you know, without the lid closing it. So that's, that is possible also. But look how cute that turned out. I love it. So love that. Okay, and then the last one I have to share with you today is the snail mail snail mini album. <laughs> this is it right here. So cute. Okay. And this is what I made. I did make him a shaker. So I filled my shaker with um, diamond dots. Um and then I just have um, a couple different papers layered in there. Um, I put a couple little flowers up here that I made with my little punch. Here's this little face that comes with it. I put little black diamond dots there for his eyeballs. And then just some ephemera from the collection chipboard. Some flowers I had in my stash. And so I put just one, I put these two colors of the um, diamond dots over here and then for his shell. <clears throat> I put another color and so that kind of just spins all around. It's so super cute. Now when I made this, I made mine out of layers of um, cardstock. My first one I cut out of some of the Dollar Tree, um, you know, poster board stuff. 
it didn't cut all the way through so I had to go do it again and run through again and because this the part that you need for the shaker is this light green part here so it's you can see how small it all is so when I <coughs> excuse me went to use it it kind of stretched a little bit and so it you know wasn't lining up very well and I didn't want to fight with it <laughs> anymore so I just went ahead and I cut I believe four layers of white cardstock into here I just layered up just glued one on top of another and then um, and then I add the, um, you know, the pattern paper on the top of the acetate after I got it all together. So that way I didn't have to worry about it being misformed and not lining up properly and stuff. So just so you know, that's an issue I had. And so you may not want to use foam because it is kind of hard to peel it up off the mat, different stuff like that when it's this thin of a line. So you may want to consider... Uh, maybe you can do it just fine. Like I say, I was struggling, so I <clears throat> put it aside and said, nope, I'm going to do <laughs> layers of cardstock. So that's what I did. And it is super sturdy because, you know, I used 110 pound on all the layers. So, and then I got my pattern paper layers on top of that. So it's very sturdy. And so I'm not sure if this is going to be part of my uh, mini album I do or if I'm going to use it on something else. But for now, I want to share with you, you know, this will be the star of the show anyway, so <laughs> I think he turned out super cute. So that is my final project that I'm going to share today. Some of them, I think I shared my bag toppers on Instagram. These other ones I haven't put pictures up there on Instagram yet. So anyway, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will link the Scrap Diva website, my affiliate link, uh, my discount code, and then all the links to the dies. Okay. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.